I'm Dark Thorn. A dangerous flight in the world of a character that, that yesterday, for some reason, did not exist. Jason, because I was stuck in, I was, I was stuck in that limbo of the Dyson Sphere not working. Yeah, I was able to load in, and, I, and since all my endeavors for today are pretty much something I can do on Nimbus, defeat Captain on defeat the Captain on the ground, defeat two Anthropods, win five thousand or win three thousand GPO playing Dabo, and then there's yeah. I'm munching dinner while we're talking here because hey, I haven't hey. been home that Well, the I got a I got a new little table. You know, remember the fold-up table we brought there, but didn't really use. It's a little bit bigger, so actually, the laptop fits on there with the mouse next to it. Yeah, because I, I threw it into the other room because because the little one you, I can use a little mouse pad on there, but I can use the mouse itself. Itself now. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. I posted, you saw the post that I made? I sent it to you on Skype. Money's good. Speaking speaking of money, listeners, you should donate to our cause to get back to Vegas and run, and do evil things. You should. Apparently, they didn't like the post I made on the uh, stove Reddit. Maybe I should emphasize that after that we will go pew pew. But I sent it to you on Skype. Yes. I can see on Skype I can see on Skype that you got the messages. Oh. But apparently they didn't like it in Stow. <clears throat> on Reddit. I don't even know what I don't even know what you put on there, so Uh, that's why. Yeah, that's but why they, you... delete, they they deleted our post on the Reddit. Maybe because I didn't emphasize that we actually were playing the game while talking. That would be the reason. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you well you were talking about six year time, which was about this point. Yeah, 
about 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 now, yeah. So yeah, well, technically, I got I got home a few minutes ago, and I have most of my most of my dinner. I got home about thirty minutes ago. I got most of my dinner literally on the little littler table next to me. Yay! Huh? That didn't make any sense. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Uh, I'm decent at Mexican, but Mexican isn't that just warm pancakes with the cooked. But it's just pancake with filling. No, it isn't. I know. It's just... And then you wrap it up, and then you cook it, and you just call it a different name. But all in all, it's just a pancake with filling. You really... Dabo, my first roll, ten thousand GPL. Oh. I yeah, I mean, I put a thousand GPL in, and I won ten thousand. It's kind of like, I mean, that's kind of that's Dabo for you. Yeah, they fixed it. Yeah, yeah. The patch was for the Dyson Sphere. It was still patching when I left for work, and there was another. I guess there was another little minor thing because I had a second patch download, and I beamed in, and I was able to do what I. I was able to leave. Leaving is good. <laughs> yeah, if if you can get there, I got, I, and then we still got to do tour of the galaxy, but that's easy. No, we can't. Uh, I will go to my alternate warp core, which is the gamma one, which is great for tour of the galaxy. Well, the Borg, the Borg engine is still good. The Borg engine is still good, and uh, you got the choice of the, like I said, you throw that in with the freaking captain done. Okay, that day, all those dailies are done, and I got a perk point. Yay! Shall we see what the perk point is? Well, we know where to do that into the hive, or hive onslaught, I should say. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, damage resist beta, ground, damage resist gamma, space, pff, max, max health on ground. Yeah. I have the most annoying endeavors today. Harvest ground, easy. And the harvest material on ground, easy. 30 Sankethi on ground and 30 turn ships. This boring. Sankethi on no, no, ground. 20, 20 Sankethi on ground and 30 Terran ships in space. I know, but right. it's just. I would just want some more. You just want to complain, Pi. That's all. We've no, seen. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. 
like kill 20 like Gorn and whatever or go here do this or something but this is just yeah mine was defeat one captain on the ground defeat 40 doing arthropods and win 3000 GPO which was easy I did all that. I did all that. I just finished it all on Nimbus, and I, I, st I, st I, I started when we were on, when we went on the air, and I'm done already. <laughs> oh, I'll join you for Hive. I'll join you for Hive. Yeah, me too. Just wait and uh, let me swap tunes. After all, I'm on Jason. You know, you know that ship's a freaking destroyer. What you gonna do with all that? Your manga career is not bad. I think there's a lot. Ah. Uh, okay. First thing you need to do: make sure you go out, go up into space. We're gonna get. We're gonna. Okay. What you need to do is, is uh, in your traits, make sure you have the. Bio molecular shield generator. Probably if you're in tier six, that will be rank two now. That'll be active reputation. Uh, you should have uh, the quantum singularity manipulation, which which cloaks you. You know I mean, what? I'm gonna strangle the kitties. I'll be right back. And the other good defensive one to keep you alive will be the Deploy Sensor Interference Platform. I really do also, I mean... Yeah, 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 yeah. I would love to have, be able to have it to where, like, yeah, the ship loadouts where we have, like, trait loadouts where we can have, like, yeah, where we can have, like, an active space, active ground. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, the one, the one, yeah, and the other one I tended to use was. Uh, I don't use I don't use it all the time anymore. But the other one I've tended to use is the. I'm looking for. Give me a moment. I've tended to use a reflecting tetrion cascade since that chains to other ships. Okay, I'm back. By the way, now, now, now my space right. Now you want to why run in space traits? All right, my space traits are auxiliary power, offensive, precision. Uh, enhanced armor penetration. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Active, active targeting systems, and then I have the sixth one, which is magnified firepower. Maybe. I heard a girl. I, I heard a girlish giggle when he's when you said flanking. Yeah, yeah. He's like he's like freaky. He's like butthead. Uh, uh. <laughs> he said flanking. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, I, knew what, I knew what was coming. <laughs> By the way, I'm ready, Mom. If uh... yeah, yes, yeah, we're we're, tr we're trying we're trying to tweak her ship just a little bit too. So yeah. Oh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, certainly, I'm logging in now. I asked. No, you haven't sent me an invite yet. Thank you. I will take your invite and I shall accept it and be happy.
And while we are waiting, I shall beam into space and prepare my ship. Oh, by the way... <laughs> by, by the way, they have announced the next two ships in the legendary pack. Ooh. Warship Intrepid, which is a Miracle Worker multi-mission science vessel. Oh, nice. That, that, then the Crossfield, legendary temporal operative science vessel. Yep. With a new visual variant, the Glen, which is, they kind of did like they did with the uh, Gagarin to it. I will send you this, because this is... Uh, it's normally 300 and for... 19 Yeah. Yeah. But these, but a lot of these are like the a lot of these are just lockbox ships, which cost more. And the, yeah, I yeah. saved. I saved for so. Um, yeah, as long as it stays. But there, like but there's the Glen variant of the Crossfield. I'll probably grind out for it. Well, remember, after a short time, it's going to go up to three hundred, which. Yeah. Which is still, right. which is still, honestly, it's equivalent to ten tier six Priority ships, anyway. So hey. Um. But I'm looking. At, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at. I did send you a picture of the Glen on your Skype, Mom. It looks pretty good. Yeah, looks pretty good. Thomas, who does a lot of their ship work, I think he. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's the one who actually did this particular one, but I since he, he does a ton of them, and I kind of assume he's doing this one too. And that, I like that look for some reason. I may have found a proper ship for my Nimoy tribute tune. Mm -hmm. I'm ready whenever you are. Where is Pi right now? Drozan! Drozan! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I I don't... That, oh, the, oh, the, the, the Rosanna song was on when I was driving home and it just got stuck in my head. <laughs> I stole the song from the other night that mom got stuck oh, in my wow. head. Oh wow! Guess what's guess what's right next to me? One of, one of those new Borg ship. Um, yes, that is a big sucker. Now, is there a special way to claim all of the Admiralty cards, or just? <laughs> Just go visit the ship, the your ship selector, and they'll pop. <clears throat> if you want instant, go to the ship selector. That's the easiest way I've been doing it. So I had one that didn't pop for me. From, yeah, my my Andorian it didn't pop for me at all yesterday. Until I went to visit the ship selector, and I was on for with you for what, like an hour at that point. So well, I logged into three of my tunes yesterday, and they just, after a few minutes, just popped. Maybe you gotta change maps or something. I don't know, but I no, that should not. Hmm? Well, like I said, there there's a few ways. If it doesn't, some it's popping automatically, some it's not. We'll see how it goes. But right, eventually you're going to go to a ship selector or something to take care of something. <laughs> I mean, what they listed was go to the ship selector. That was what was in the post originally. So, well, I don't. I'm pretty sure I got most of them on this character, so it'd be really hard to tell. I haven't checked something. Okay, shall I find out how many ships does Jason have in his Admiralty? Do you the want to know? The world may never know. A one. Do you want to know how many ships two, are in my Admiralty roster? <laughs> a 
three. <laughs> a three. 157 <laughs> ships. Oh my goodness. This character's and not off. 56, but... An augmented got two hundred thirty. I, I, I tend to I tend to pick I tend to pick certain I tend to pick certain ships for stuff. So, what well, do I have? Maybe I would, 20, I, would 25? I would I would not want it to go automatic because there are points which I because there's so many bonuses on various ships. I don't want to play that way, you know. Uh. <laughs> What's that, Fifi? Yes, just have to kill them. All right. We come in peace, shoot to kill, shoot to kill. There's the song. <laughs> it's still in my head. <laughs> it's life, Jim, but not as we know it. Not as we know it. Not as we know it. Of course, there's the other one which always gets in my head. Photon torpedo! There was a... Yeah, Mom knows that... Ho it ruined Bohemian Rhapsody for you forever. Fighting for Dawn That's right, uh, I, get you. I like the, uh, I'm a Trekkie and I know it parody. That's always a good one. Uh, <laughs> now I know why I yeah, suddenly we do less. Uh, <laughs> now I know why I do less damage. You don't have no. traits. <laughs> Apparently, Cryptic decided decided to reset my uh, my my traits. I think Pi changes ships, and that's and then it just uh, no. does. I think everything doesn't like him. Yeah, it's gotten clearly personal. At least, it, at least it was ground traits, and I think no, they also messed up my space traits. Yeah, they messed up one of my space traits. Oh, it's too late now. Yeah, because we're in here. You can't Not change traits. traits. Can't. Traits have to be in a social zone. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to take uh. over the galaxy tonight. Yeah. Uh oh. Right. Video videos, huh? Yep. I hope it's not on that this space is that this, that this space is low on the machine you're recording. Then you might wanna remove some of the videos or after this match. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that explains it. Bright light, by the way. Did you get one already, Mom? Alright. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through slowly since this is my forward firing death machine. I was wondering, uh, get, what did they kind get, of do if they get near me, Mom? I'll, I'll throw out some heals. I'm wondering, what are they going to do if they're going to... 
I'm trying to find my way to uh, you. Alright, I threw some heals at you, Mom. <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna do if they're gonna re-ramp the, the hive as well. No, oh, but yeah, they revamped the kid of a vortex and the ISA, right? Well, then I just wonder because so, people were people gonna... were also uh, doing it in reverse. So no, people used to be able to before the shield was around the thingy. Yeah, but you can't do it now. Yeah, you cannot throw enough damage to kill them. Spheres to. Yeah, so am I. <sighs> now we can go kill this cube. There's a t there's a tag down here. You got your tax done, Mom? Ew. Well, I'll beat this one up and you'll be good. Well, it's down to zero. All right. Yay. There's got to be one left more. Here. Yep. See where he is. Hello. Hi, we're about to blast you in oblivion. Exited out of the cutscene and it took you right back in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just sent the Herc after her. Oh, that the backfire. And she's still doing that. Yeah, she was. Problem, the problem with overwhelming firepower is when you get a feedback pulse, it hurts you bad. <laughs> Yeah, whenever somebody says hold fire, I just fly out of range. <laughs> oh, wah, 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 I am wah, eternal, wah. <laughs> this is not the end. Yes, it is. Well, it's clearly not, because we got to come back and blow up again later, so... <laughs> the end. At least she's not. At least she doesn't say you haven't seen the last of me. Yeah. This is not the end. It seems a little more corny than this. 
or Pork Queen here. <laughs> I have been and always will be here. <laughs> oh. Uh damn I it. I actually just got a um a USB hub for that because I can't plug in both of my external drives because I'm out of USB ports. So I got a USB hub so that I could offload my videos. Mom, this is terrible. This is just terrible. I'm I'm ten lobby short of the bio neural infusion circuits. It really is. I'll have to buy, I'll have to buy some keys later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, keys? Oh, keys. <laughs> well, I think I figure buy on there. Yeah, I'm on Jason. I'm gonna head over to I'm going to head over to ESD because again, can didn't do that daily either. But we but I can do that daily while we're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Uh, does anybody, before we start talking to Card, want to do the uh, featured daily, the ground assault, the the daily, the featured episode, the feature, whatever, the featured TFO? To hell of honor. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Just ship it over. I'm just doing one of my daily endeavors. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. <sighs> oh, what do you think of the new hair things, Mom? The new hair is the long hair, the seven long hair, and everything else. You don't space Barbie? Barbie? She doesn't space Barbie. She does not she does not appreciate she grinds, but she does not space Barbie. She misses the true end game. Well, is is it still here? Is it online? It seems that it, he just locked off. Yeah, but I think it, 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 he just locked in. He's probably switching characters around. Yeah, but at this hour? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> so I found out I'm really, really bad at the game Sins of a Solar Empire. Oh. Admiral Sniffles, I, that name is going to live forever w with you in infamy. Well, we need to do that point where we're fighting the Borg Queen all over the place with Borg King on. I don't know anymore. Yay, I got one of my endeavors done. Yay, me. Yay. All right. Okay. Should I open board boxes today? Probably so. 
Discover Tenzeki Swarm. Uh, Isn't there a specific time Sona, to Sona, Section 31. Open it for best results. I'll wait a bit then. I just. I... Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How is that? Good evening. Yeah, I actually uh, had a meeting that was supposed to go for another two hours, but it surprisingly went so well that most of the stuff I was concerned about didn't really matter. <sighs> well. uh. I said it again and again. Just got to blame Canada. Blame Canada. Um, Mom, you have somebody floating near you. Uh, on your screen, is is there a staircase that we can't see? Because uh, she came down. Yeah. Okay. And the AI wasn't changed. Okay. Hey, Ma yeah. Oh, okay. by the way, I post up in strike groups, so you might want to read that out loud. I'm, I'll put it together if you want. <laughs> Blank Canada, Blank Canada. Uh, I broadcasting. I would. I can step out if needed. If 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 you need to, um, if anybody else needs it, that's fine. I got a friend. Uh, I'm just waiting for somebody to pay, take. I'm just waiting for uh, for us to accept. Sorry, I'm, there's too many things in the screen. I can't see the accept thing because of their stupid pop up. I gotta get out of the freaking way. Come on, turn off already. <coughs> freaking eleven light years away, it's still showing up. I want to accept this stupid quest. What the hell? Blame Canada. Dude, look at that lady. This is a good uh, Terran group here. Oh my god. 300 ships. This this is the biggest, the literally the largest problem I have with this stupid game. Is... Yeah, the pop-ups make it impossible to do anything else you want to do. Yes. <sighs> but I accepted. So, there. All right. Now I can hear us. Oh, right. 315 ships. Do we have a hey, wee -woo? The wee -woo. Yeah, wee woo I have a wee woo. <laughs> oh, there was five. <sighs> there was gonna be... We were all here. Plus, I'm doing this, so we know we know I'll we know I'll abandon you if you guys. Does somebody want to go whale on the Lucara? Yeah. No. Go whale on her. Have fun. Oh crap! Hit her uh, as much as you chase I'm her down. Something. Chase her down and beat her down as much as you want to. Uh, 
I'm I I don't I don't know how many times we can wi- make her go kabo- make her go run off, but I want to find oh, out. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm um, on. <laughs> my herc disappeared. My herc uh, reinforcements. Mine are going down, so. <sighs> That's that's remarkable BS. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just dragging. I don't have on. my my Herc swarmers. Can you just reclaim them if they disappear? I, well, I mean, I can't do it until after this is over, but I'm sure. Ah, I'm sure you're not to you just disappear from your trait. I I checked my inventory; it just wasn't there. Why am I I'm going to Epsilon. I'm going to I'm going to Gamma. How many times you make her go kaboom, Mom? Yeah. Anybody spots her, let us know. Oh, I see her. Um, over oh, there's one ship more. Frost. Yeah. There we go. There we go. We got it. Nope, it's still there. Am I missing something? No, no, no. It was just one ship. She's right by me now. We're on the way. I found that if you go high enough up, you can get out of range of most of those turrets. <laughs> it's just me not liking her. <laughs> oh, she is kind of a coward. She really is. All right. Late pursuit mode. <laughs> yeah, right. Hi, you remember me? Stop bullying the supervillain. <laughs> but it, I, I, I want her to hear. I want. Yeah, there we go. I'll run away again. I want to hear her go. <laughs> stop blowing holes in my ship. I want to hear her stop blowing holes in my ship. <laughs> That'd be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Supervillains are people too, dang. Thirty. Headed towards Alpha. She's towards Alpha. She's right, right by Alpha. She's right, right at now. Alpha. And she ran. Because this is a stage where she's just gonna run. Cling this is on. a stage where she's gonna run. Yes. Um, yes. Wherever you go, there they are. I have not seen it. You have to watch that movie. That is that is like a cult classic. It's trivia point. Weird. It's trivia so point, Mom. Weird. What was the song that they marched? They the song at the end of the movie where they're all walking it in credits. 
That is not the song they actually did when they when they filmed it. Billy Joel, Uptown Girl. The, bon the Bonsai Institute. Too bad we can't get a copy of it put on your uniform. Uh, well, I don't want to wreck your patch. Yes, yeah, I, 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 I could just see this. It's like, you. No, I don't work at Daystrom. I work at the Bonsai Institute. No. I think John, John Lithgow see, speaking in a very auth uh, authentic because the person who gave who taught him the accent was actually Italian. And I thought, I th it was, yeah, and one of the people in the costume department actually was Italian and spoke that way. And can I, and Lithgow actually apparently. Had him record stuff. Had him record dialogue so he can. Really bad. <laughs> Complete yeah. another insanity. It's like. Next one. Yeah. Yeah, run for me. I, I come to kill you and you run away. It's like... Yeah, Klingon Bird of Prey today, if you are... Jula is a chicken. So are we allowed to talk about card yet? Yeah. I actually got here on time. Yeah, we're all here on time. It's like, it's like a, this is like a first for <laughs> Considering I forgot to ask you yesterday when on time was going to be. A lot of people use Access. Access is a very good program. It's, I mean, it's, it's starting things from scratch that tends to mess people up. Because everybody wants to use oh, SQL and all right. this other stuff. And yep. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. That was actually that was fun. Let's let's find. I want to find out how did uh, we do. We lost. Well, we did sixteen out of eighteen frigates, nine out of ten cruiser, nine hmm. out of ten cruisers, six out of six bout. Number of times forced Luca the Lucara to retreat three times. There, the, yes. there. You never you never seen it more than two. We just did three. <laughs> okay. And I found out that I can drag the Lucara across the map. I found out that the Lucara can't, does not like the Pike's Ford firepower. <laughs> mm, yes. 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 We have much to talk about. We have, we have much to talk about tonight. Run. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't get the channel. <laughs> Turn the volume all the way down and then put your fingers in yours and start going la 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 la.
Uh, no. Um, oh, Twitch. I, I'm not. I'm not watching on Twitch right now. So. Oh. Once I'm done with this Omega thing, I'll take a look at it. I'm. I'm going over. Well, I don't know. Are, are you? Are you in the game or are you? Are you your Windows desktop at the moment? Then it makes sense while it's choppy now. But. Yeah. Well, we, well, we, well, we, well, we, uh, I'm sorry about that, but. Episode three, uh, named episode three. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, actually, actually, it's three part, but yeah, I know. The yeah, end that. is the beginning. It really was. We got to see why Raffi was so pissed off at Picard. Yeah. She see, really I, I have to disagree with you there. I have no idea why she was upset with Picard. He had nothing to do with Starfleet turning him down. He did. He had nothing to do... Well, it says he he gave up his... Uh, he um, the, He resigned. Right. And but, but that his, wasn't but his resigning because she was loyal to him in this whole project, it tainted her and ruined her career. Yeah. Sure. 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 <clears throat> I can hear you just fine. I mean, I'm not on Twitch. Sure. <clears throat> I can hear you just fine. I mean, but see, that's that's sure. the thing that I can hear the hell out of me. Yeah, okay. I can't hear you, you, okay. can't hear you on Twitch. I can hear other, I can. I just hear. Okay, you are coming through on Twitch. I muted. I muted Discord so I could clearly hear Twitch, and you. We were. Um, the, I don't know that I could hear you specifically because most other people were talking by the time I got. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Not hearing you. <laughs> I don't know. You're on you with Jeff. Can you hear me now? Let's see if you can hear me now. Testing one, two, three, yes. four, five. You can't. Okay. Yes. Yeah. My mic switch got turned off. Nothing impressive, but that's nice to know. I've been on for an hour talking and I, <laughs> no one can hear me because we're in this but great but we, mm. but we were here talking so and you know me i can be a chatterbox sometimes oh, but, yeah. yeah that's true but thank you for letting me know that. that's all right mom that's not the worst stream snafu i've seen today and i did the other one i rated somebody at the end of my stream and for whatever reason when i clicked to stop streaming on obs it didn't actually register the click so when that person stopped going you know Ended their stream. My stream pops back up because OBS is still broadcasting. I was out of the house doing errands. <laughs> <laughs> I so, got back because people were like, so "Hey, uh, your stream's still going." <laughs> yeah, I know. I've actually gotten to work on occasion, and Pius uh, texted me going, <clears throat> "Stream's still going." <laughs> Ten miles away. And, <laughs> Thank and the only 
the only words we can do for that is oh okay so episode Don't. three of Picard the end is the beginning we yeah. yes we'll start that again um overall <laughs> I liked it I I like Raffi as a character going into why she got upset I think they could have spent a little bit more time dealing with her relationship with Picard should we start way at the beginning instead of just jumping into the middle of this. Yes. That, that was, was beginning. Yeah. That was, was beginning. beginning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. That was. One, those yeah. those uniforms are awful on him. The neck is too tall, and he doesn't have that tall of a neck. She's got a beautiful long neck, so it works really well for her. Yeah. Um, she seems like a <laughs> that's very... Kind of, that's kind of been his problem with a lot of the uniforms. It, yeah. It kind of goes all over the place on his neck. It but, does, yeah. yeah. Uh, question, though. Was she his first officer? No, security. Security. Wow, she's very emotional for somebody in security. And I don't know. Warf got emotional. Yeah, Not Worf like was that. A Warf wasn't hu- well, Warf wasn't human. So yeah, I well, understand. I think I think part of her emotionalness was a matter of, uh, from what I understand and kind of extrapolated, mind you. So some of this is guesswork. Okay. Is that she was at a rising point in her career when the whole Romulan yeah. project happened, mm-hmm. uh, and. I mean, it screwed up everything when she got fired. And, and I don't I, get why they fired not. her either. I mean, if they just had that much of a disaster I th- I think Utopia Planitia. I, th- I think it was two reasons. Mm-hmm. First off, yes, yeah, she her career at that point was pretty well linked to Picard's, and yeah. mm-hmm. that kind of tainted her in the eyes of Starfleet. The other reason, she was, she had that, she was advocating a theory and even told John Luke... P- later in the episode, that she believed the Romulans were behind the whole thing. Right. I get and that. that. And, that was, and that was not a very, and I can imagine that was not a very popular opinion with the higher-ups. Especially uh, with what we know about the current overall head of Starfleet security, who is she's apparently... Vulcan. She's Vulcan. She's Vulcan, but she's involved in whatever... Yeah. the Romulan assassination group is. So, or at least has yeah. knowledge of it, yeah. Well, yeah. Mewson said, and I agree, that she should have been reassigned someplace, not fired, because, yes, that is the normal course of action. If they feel that she's an actual danger to Starfleet, you don't just, or, sorry, not danger, but, you know, not going with the uh, current flow, they don't usually throw you out. They put you someplace where you can be ineffective. But I kind of think that just because she was apparently, and some of this goes into their preview and their pre prequel material for mm-hmm. this, which I did read a little bit, but she was security chief on the Ver- the Verity, which was what Picard had for the flagship for this whole Romulan relief po- effort. Mm-hmm. But- and and he, and, he, and it kind of goes back to the other point uh, when the. From last episode, remember when they said, "Why don't you contact your old crew?" He said they would join me in an instant, but would ruin their but would ruin them. Yeah, well, she apparently was ruined anyway. Yeah, so. she was ru- she was ruined, and I think that's why Picard was so gun shy about going to people like Riker and Jordy and all them. Who? Right. Yeah, I, I I get that from a um, writing perspective, but from a character perspective. I think she needed to be a little bit more fleshed out in that one. It was or not that she needed to be fleshed out, but the relationship. All I can think is maybe there was a more personal relationship going on, and so she was more inextricably, inextri- I can't say that word, linked to Picard. You know, there was an, hmm. a belief that there was a, more of a relationship there. And the fact yeah. that she doesn't call him Captain or Admiral, she calls him Jean-Luc and J.L., is very yeah. casual. Mm-hmm. There didn't seem to be any signs of intimacy, but maybe maybe somewhere down the line, he was her advocate at Starfleet when she was going through the Academy, you know, kind of like a pet project. Well, I w- Mentor or something. Yeah, mentor. Yeah, Thank you. Was, that was the word I wanted. Was, I mean, he was her mentor, not she was his. Right, correct. And therefore, people in Starfleet couldn't dissociate her from him. But still, throwing her out for that just yeah. only works the for storyline. The only story other thing that works is if she was not Starfleet personnel, 
personally requested by Picard to be his head of security for the project. But then but, she wouldn't have rank pips in uniform. What? Well, the she uniform, not, she would yes, at least not have but rank pips. pips, no. And she had, and she was a commander. She had pips. Mm -hmm. Well, then, yeah, uh, she shouldn't have yeah. been fired. She should have been reasoned. And I'm pretty well, just, you know, send her to the North Pole or no, something. No, I also think, and we kind of see it before, if you really push something that is very unpopular, this is Star Trek, this is not the actual military, let's point this out. This is true. There are, but we've seen that when people push some really, really unpopular stuff, they're kind of gotten rid of one way or another. Well, yeah, you can do that, but you can be subtler about that. Um, the flea says, uh, and then the Borg attack. Was there a Borg attack and I'm just not paying attention? No. Okay, good. Good. I thought maybe I missed something when he mentioned, or she mentioned that. Okay. I'm pretty sure that Vulcan head security person is directly involved with the assassination no. group. Because the person that she sent up to in person mm -hmm. has since gone to the cube to oversee oh, yeah, I, what's his face. I agree with that, but back in a Romulan back in a Romulan look, but yeah. Right, but uh, right. so we assume that the Vulcan who's the head of security is a Vulcan. But maybe not. Think about it. Right. Well, I think they would know because they figured out Simon Tarsi's way back in the drumhead was not Vulcan, not had a, did not have a Vulcan grandfather, but had a Romulan grandfather. So there's mm -hmm. been apparently enough genetic drift. No, no, no. They didn't discover that from um, his yeah, genetics. They did. No, they didn't. I don't know if it was his genetics or not, but. It... <sighs> All we know is he got railroaded because he right. did not. That was a good character. I enjoyed that one. But in retrospect, it does seem Starfleet has kind of shifted in how it approaches things to more of Admiral Satie's point of view, which is kind of fear, this overkill, mm -hmm. reactionary. I just want to keep watching more Picard, but there's none and, left. And they're, ta and they're talking about, and yeah, then we go over to the cube point, but I have a theory on this cube. What if this cube was the one they delivered Hugh to? Say that again? Remember way back when in Iborg, when we had Hugh, who yeah. was actually in charge of this reclamation project on this new, on this cube we're seeing, that was Hugh. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if this was the cube he was actually original? Um, he was actually returned to, because it got cut off from the collective randomly after that. No, mm -hmm. we don't know. <laughs> we no, don't know where uh, this cube this, came from. Um, this cube came from right after uh, they defeated the Boar Queen, and all the drones went. Uh, off which, the grid, which, basically. which, which time? <laughs> um, I'm betting that they're gonna go with uh, when the time traveled back in the movie. First contact. First contact. That would mean that this cube has been in Romulan space for about two, two hundred fifty yeah. years. Yeah, but no, didn't they mention not, something uh, back in time? It, back in time, in back the... in time to first contact day, and they beat her it in it, first contact day. They did not beat her no. in the. Yeah, they did but, not beat her now. But when they go back to now, mm -hmm. she has already traveled back in time and has been beaten. So there is no more queen to govern the network, and the whole network goes in action. <laughs> That's interesting um, that they've... Except we see an active Borg in Voyager after first contact. Yeah, it's been yeah. put out there as a possibility that even though the queen as the singular can die, uh, the queen as a concept maintains and somebody else be queen becomes the queen, mm -hmm. not unlike a uh, bee. 
you know, which would explain why, which would explain why Voyager blew her blow out twice. And she main she continues. And she, and she continues. Yeah. Yeah, it's not an instantaneous thing. It does take and, some time. And why but, she is eternal. Right. They, uh, yeah, no, somebody else will be the queen. Which one are you? Which one are you? Well, they're all the queen. That, they are no. all the same. From basically, the basically, which basically, one are you? Basically, it'd be like a beehive where uh, you get rid of the queen, then they work and breed up a new queen. Yeah. You know, in one of those yeah, little... Which, which then uh, begs the question again. Yes. How do they make data like a living being? Unless they didn't. Facilitate it somehow by Borg nanites. Which is where seven. They comes grafted in. living tissue onto his uh, onto his android body. That's. I'm, I'm talking about how they revert. They, they terminated. The, they term DT. They ter let him talk so we can hear what he's saying. Yeah, it's when they uh, revive Data's essence in the girls. That was some like magical voodoo technique that shouldn't have been possible. This is where Seven of Nine comes into the series, providing the Borg conduit for that to be possible. And that gives us the return of the Borg Queen, which then in episode three is when the Romulan woman goes, which one are you? But, oh, yeah, one, but she's Are you the one who dies? But she's talking about and, the twins, not the Borg <laughs> Queen, isn't she? Or do you think... And I'm thinking that that Queen of Hearts hand oh. from the dream still has something to do with the return of the Borg Queen through this medium. Wow. Uh, somebody threw out a different theory. What if the... What if we're not chasing Data's mem positronic gangrams? What if what Bruce Maddox salvaged something out of lore? Oh, that could be interesting. What if he salvaged something out of B4? Also possible. Mm -hmm. Remember, they've got B4. They don't have data. Yeah. Uh, what happened with Lore? He was disassembled, Lore, right? Lore was disassembled. His positronic matrix was kind of melted down, but yeah. Okay. So he then he's... Disassembled, so... Yeah. The real thing I So he's think... probably in a... And then there's Lal, too. The real Data's thing that also strikes me is that with STO, they're going with Seven of Nine somehow becoming the new queen in the mission. Really? Oh, I haven't seen this. I haven't done the second episode. Oh. Just yet. No, I, I know. I, I still haven't done the second episode. That wasn't even done this line. You, did, you obviously skipped through a lot of things in the episode. Actually, I didn't. It's just that I did it so many times that it kind uh, of went well, into I'm a blur. Seven the Nine was becoming the new queen. Set the copy of Seven and Nine that was created from the well, first yeah, episode. Well, 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 don't, nope, 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 don't, don't do the second but episode, please. The, uh, the point being is that the Boar Queen has multiple tricks up her sleeve to try and return. Of course, they're doing it in STO. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking they're going to go with that in Picard as well. That's interesting. I'm curious. Why else bring Seven of Nine into it? Because she's awesome? Um, well, yeah, but why you. else bring her into the Picard show and STO and STO does STO involved. really doesn't have anything to do with the Picard show. Yeah, okay. they said they're going to follow but about two why? years behind on that, so sad to say. But yeah, but why link the Borg into all of it? Well, uh, How I, much history does Picard have with the Borg? Let's just go there. Tons. About as much as he has, with the, he with still the, ha he still probably has nightmares. He probably still has nightmares of being locutus. Of course he does. <laughs> yeah, I had a meme of him, never forget Wolf three five nine. <laughs> we remember locutus. Yeah, Picard is not such a great captain after all, huh? Hey, he's a great captain. He's just still a human. He is not the pimp hand. He's not the pimp hand of the prophets named the Cisco, <laughs> and he never will be. I don't know how much the people in Stowe are um, doing related to Picard because, in theory, they don't have knowledge of what's going to happen. Though you've got to know that they've got to have some knowledge of what's going on. Mm -hmm. But I have to admit, they keep their hand close to the chest. Yeah. So we. I wouldn't be surprised, though. I mean, it's interesting that we're dealing with some of the same topics. One thing I thought really <coughs> interesting, though, was 
didn't they comment that only those people had been um, uh, those ones who were on the uh, ship, the Romulans, who were absorbed, assimilated by the Borg, were the only ones? Or did I misunderstand right. that? That's really nope. weird. And they were the last ones absorbed by that cube, too. Yeah, and that literally contradicts the canon of the original. Well, what did the original uh, say? The original show, the neutral zone border between the Romulans and the Federation <laughs> being attacked by an enemy that left no trace. This increased constant tensions between the Romulans and the Federation. That enemy but, was the Borg. But we don't... A, we don't know it was a Borg. It was just a very similar point. And B, uh, we don't know... We don't know if... We don't know since the Romulans assimil have pu pulled in other cultures like the Klingons do. We don't know if it was... If it was a... If it was an actual Romulan colony or it was a colony that the Romulans say this world is ours. People work for us. Yeah, but that would still leave a couple of Romulans okay, there. Okay, Miko, 12-12, thank you for the being follow. being assimilated is way too... But the Borg were a threat. They were around the Romulan and Federation border in the neutral zone, taking out one colony after the next, assimilating them. And this caused tensions between the Romulans and the Federation, each blaming each other and not seeing the Borg thing. I still think you're trying to read the Borg too much into everything here. Hard to tell nope. at this point. This is official canon. Uh, I blame Q. <laughs> it is Q's fault. Yeah, yeah, well, Q is to blame. Okay, how's Q is... to blame for the neutral zone? Well, uh, well Q he's not is to blame, to blame for the neutral for zone, but he is. Figuring out and, and leading the Borg to uh, the Federation uh, homeworld. But uh, Q is actually the one who threw Picard there while the Borg were already on that border taking out little uh, con And that's what led them to go and follow uh, Picard to Federation. It is all part of canon. I seem to remember in Best of Both Worlds, they weren't sure if it was the same cube that they encountered before. Okay, I'm going to go concerning back to some notes that I found. Concerning board, sh concerning board ships are kind of identical. Actually, the neutral zone was supposed to be uh, the episode that introduced the Borg, but they couldn't do it for a number of reasons. So even though for us it's not canon, I mean, that's never officially stated, that had been the original premise. Yeah, and originally the Borg were, got, were related to the Blue Gill thing that took over Starfleet Command, but that didn't work out. Yeah. Well, that's okay. That would have been a little weird. I like the Borg as they are. I like blue gills as they are. We got two good enemies. One which is an STO is not canon that way has not had a canon follow up ever. I know. Well, we got quiet all of a sudden. How'd that happen? I know. What happened? Everybody's quiet tonight. I am. I am. Uh... Desperately I'm low on, on dilithium, and I just realized it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. Actually, I think I'm good on dilithium at the moment. Oh, Kamiko1212. Welcome, kitties. Welcome, kitties. All right, so let's talk about some of the other stuff that's going on yeah. in the uh, episode. Um, so when the Vulcan Commodore goes to talk to the doctor from the Daystam in Institute, mm -hmm. that had such ominous overtones. That was actually really well done because I'm looking at her going, oh man, this woman has gotten zero resistance. She's just going to tell them everything. And then I'm thinking, it, of course. It was the sunglasses, wasn't it? You know what? The sunglasses with the weird eyebrows over it, and my first thought was, hmm, she plucks her eyebrows too much. But um, 
Oh, she does. But I'm just thinking the way that the doctor played it was just, you know, I'm thinking she's got zero willpower. This is the weakest link. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, I will be amazed if she survives this scene. And that was just really ominously well done. I want to know how she showed up at Card's thing. Transporter? We- yeah. Right, right. right. the attack is going on? Yeah, um, uh, that leads to a huge degree of potential setup for... Mm, maybe Can we say it's a trap? I don't know, trap, or she's being set up, you know, to be a potential I, I'm, spy. I'm or, going, or it's just a red herring. Mm-hmm. No, I'm going to go with my Admiral Akbar costume on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> She's probably spying for Starfleet, not uh, Jot. Yeah, I I agree. I was thinking that. But at the same time, maybe she's not even conscious she's a spy. Maybe she's been, if you will excuse the term, assimilated under some sort of control by the Vulcans. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe she did a Spock mind meld and just... Yeah, exactly. I mean, that... Because it just disappears. We need to talk about this boom scene's done. Whoa. Because otherwise they would have just offed her. She's not an important character in the grand scheme of things. I mean, she might be for the episode, but if they lose a cybernetics um, expert, big deal. Leading leading cybernetics expert. Yeah. 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 Better, you know. But if they capture the, the daughter... Mm-hmm. They're gonna need an expert, especially one as malleable as. That's a good point. I, this one, or they might be using her in the same way to get to Maddox because they really need to get to Maddox. Yeah. Well, it could just be she's too curious and can't keep her nose out of trouble. <laughs> that too, but. She's just- She's an expert on something, and something that she says is not possible it exists. She, of course, she wants to. Mucin, there's something wrong with your mic. It keeps crackling up. It's the Borg. <laughs> <laughs> it's Q. I already told you guys it's Q. <laughs> your, your mic's been assimilated. It's like your cord is shorting out someplace. You're technological... Yeah. <laughs> Your biological and technological distinctiveness Resistance will not be added to our own. voltage divided by current. <laughs> no, your sensor's being jammed. So that, that was a nice little scene there. And, um, but the attack scene and the, at and the, the chateau. And the, the end of that scene also at the right spot. So we don't know... And we're just going to keep trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Which leads us, of course, to the attack scene at the Chateau. Yeah. That was nicely done. Here? Yes. Can I make a comment? Yes. Do they have enough freaking guns in Picard's <laughs> freaking house? <laughs> he does have a lot of Romulans there. And the Romulans were just, like, totally ready for this. Hey, they got freaking disruptors under tables. Freaking all. <laughs> right. Well, he's just another guy having his shotgun under the coffee table, yeah, right? really? Jeez. For... Isn't that quite normal having your shotgun under your coffee table? Yeah, don't no. In case of Romulan spies burst into your living room. Okay. Yeah, then they, it's just me. They took out the defenses, and those two just go on full alert. Guns yeah. out, shooting, punching, kicking. No, they don't. Even, they don't even have the guns out. They just freaking wrestle guns away from people to start with. Right, and if they get knocked down, it's like, oh look, here's a gun. You ain't. <laughs> Man, that was just. A wonderful, lovely little scene. I, I was genuinely concerned because these are not two main characters, and I like them both. And I was afraid we we're going to lose them both. And the other, po- and the other point, it's clear because Picard is one of the first ones who grabs one of these disruptors. He knows where all the f- they put all the freaking guns in his house well, too. Yes, he does. It's his house. Yeah. To be it's, fair, he's keeping Romulan, like the guys, like essentially they, a bodyguard. They um, are tall she are. Yeah. They're not this these aren't normal Romans. These people right. they've admitted these are tall she are he's got in his house. Yeah. But but why would he have so much firepower lying around in his living room? Because he's he, got he, tall she are in his house and his- <laughs> Well he yeah. knew he was gonna get attacked. Yeah. He had to at know. some point he, he knew he was gonna get attacked. Or more so accurately, they knew he was gonna be attacked and they were, you know, 
They're ready yeah. for it. They're not there as caretakers. They're there as bodyguards that look like caretakers. Yeah, I know, but but did he have so much beef with the Romulans? Did they really hate him or who? Since they had so much firepower lying around, Some, I don't know. They know. They know somebody hated him because of that whole that Excuse whole point where. Sorry. Forty-five minutes to three fifty. My point. He was one of the few people in Starfleet who was actually trying to save their people. And that made him very, very unpopular. With whom? Remember, there were worlds... Re remember what we found out last time? There were ro Because this whole rescue thing that Picard was pushing, there were worlds ready to leave Starfleet. Yeah. That means for a lot of people out there, what he was promoting was not a very popular... Right, but would they wait 15 years to exact their retribution? Um, with with Picard and his propensity to get in the middle of everything, it's a matter of time. Yeah. Anybody can look at his service record and go, sooner or later, he's going to go off the books again. And we... Picard knows that sooner or later something like that is going to come up and maybe, his bodyguards are ready. Maybe. <laughs> I, I mean, I totally like that they're at the ready and they're waiting for it. But I think the, uh, and I don't know either of their names. What are the names of the two guardians? I could tell you. <laughs> I have no idea either. I like them both. I wish they'd be better with their names. But I think they both kind of went on to um, high guard position when he did his press conference because they realized he's going to be out there people are going to be coming mm -hmm. gunning for him especially when they realized that the vodwar or whatever they are the jap the what the heck is that what is uh, their name the zadvash zadvash or something as soon as they realized that was going on um i'm in deep space nine uh instance two by the way Since Okamiko was asking. Zaban and oh, we're trying to find the other person now. <laughs> to the internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking on the internet movie database to find out to get, get the full cast. So. Do we have to do a WC question right here? Uh, WC, you know you can pick up the mission from... Gosh darn it. Uh, the availables. <laughs> so I think you can. Yeah. You can pick it up from your availables. And Laris. Laris. Okay, picked. Back to the important stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I really like those two characters. I like the fact that I really think they may have had all that stuff prepped and ready to go, but realized something was going to happen and just amped it up just a little bit. Because mm -hmm. you can't stay on that level of alert all the time, even if you're Romulan Tal Shiar. They'd like you to think that they can. Yeah, but you can't. It, it, you just can't do that. I know, I know Vulcan could, but... <laughs> but you have to then think, are, you know, you see all these scenes where they're checking the food, you know, what's going to be on the menu for tonight, and how is everything going with the vineyard. Getting ready to harvest the grapes. Yeah, and out in the vineyard, this is where we've hidden the disruptors, and we've got these shields up, and it... It's just such a nice. But I'm curious point. of I'm curious of one thing, and yes. I know practically I know why they really didn't do it because the dog was really hard to film. But where, what happened to number one? Yeah. Back. I'm sure number one being a pit bull, like the evil pit bull sitting at my feet chewing on something, is <laughs> probably in the bedroom under the blankets, going, "I'm not going out there. It's noisy and scary." <laughs> 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 You see mine, it's probably, ooh, playtime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the question is, though, he's getting ready to leave, and he's saying goodbye to them, and he's saying goodbye to the dog, in essence. I'm thinking, is he planning to never come back to his dog? I think Picard's I, thinking he's not going to make it back, given uh, what... Given, because of the dog. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like a, a death mission, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think this is his uh, Swan last mission that matters, kind of. He's I mean, going to see it through one way or the other. Yeah. And the other point on there, remember, he does have that uh, anomaly in his frontal cortex. No, pre it's not his frontal cortex. Pre -front it's his pre parietal. Parietal lobe, yeah. It's in that brain part, okay? <laughs> it's in his brain. His brain got his brain got a bit. His brain's got a time bomb, more or less, in there. So I think with that and seeing how dejected he got when it when they mentioned that, I think he's just thinking this is his last run. Yeah, you're probably right, but even. Even so, you know, say goodbye to the dog on screen, because that's a cute dog. That is one cute dog. The dog was really hard to film, from what they, from what they were saying. He's not, it's, not, no, the dog was actually a rescue animal. And he's, that one and was a rescue? He, yeah, yeah, that was rescue. Aww. What a smoker booger. So he's not like a lot of other ones where, they were, where they're trained to perform in front of the camera. He's not. So, so, so what you're saying is Picard rescued another number one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently Patrick picked the dog out. So. I believe it. He likes pit bulls after he uh, fostered one. I think he's got one now, too. Yeah. My dogs, on the other hand, if they heard Disruptor Fire, they'd be like, okay, time to play. Yeah. Time to kill some oh, oh, my dog. See mine. What, will my, what will my do? Mine will come up, hi, I'm your best friend. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> and, then, and, then not, and then knock you over and kiss you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because coming back, Mom got to meet my, do my dog, Gabby. Gabby yeah. knocked Mom over. <laughs> yeah. I crouched down to give dog love, and dog's like, okay. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <I'm sorry>, but... <laughs> What? <laughs> well, it's kind of funny though. <laughs> it was a good moment. So we basically now have met the new pilot as well. Uh, what's the pilot's name? Rios. Uh, yeah. Rios. Rios. Yeah. Yes. Interesting well, character. Gosh. Lots of backstory we haven't figured out yet. Like Cristobal. Cristobal Chris Rios with the ZMH that yes. he programmed to look like him. Yes. Yeah. I like his EMH. Although it's. He said EMH, or is it the ENH because it's also a navigational thing? He and, is, some, yeah. and we have some. Apparently titles. he might have more than one. Or okay. It might be, or, it might, or it might be like the, how the, Voy the doctor ended up in Voyager doing multiple roles. Yeah. Okay, because. Uh, because me and the girlfriend multitask and stuff, or mm -hmm. the dog barking, whatever, we have subtitles on our TV, and it said both at different times. So yeah, because it was two different scenes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's... and I oh, like the personality of it. Oh, he's about to die. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, this... But apparently he's re but apparently he's really into pain. This new pilot. Yeah, really. Well, no, because he didn't really. want the thermal. Well, he didn't want the thermal generator, right? No, I he... think he wants the that scar. Would, that would just steal the room. That's he's just steal the room the scar. So butch about it. I'm I'm a tough guy. I can deal with the pain. Dun, 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 dun. Chicks dig scars. Yeah, but this was on his shoulder or or. Yeah, though it wasn't bleeding very much, so it couldn't have been very deep. And he puts on a shirt, and it's not bleeding into the shirt, so... Pfft. So Flesh he's not wound. bleeding out, so... I bled yeah. more from the, from my little scratched hand than he was bleeding from that. And a paper cut is worse. <laughs> yeah. I was cutting an orange, and the plastic knife broke in my hand and cut my hand, so embarrassing. Ow. The worst part was getting orange juice in the open cut. No, he's like, he's like the Black Knight. It's just a flesh wound. A flesh wound, I cut your arm off. Tis but a scratch. Come back here, I'll gnaw your knees off. <laughs> Quite so. So we've got um, Raffi, who's sort of along for the trip. 
We've got the pilot. We've got the doctor. So we've got what three people and Picard, right? Am I right? Is there anybody else we've missed? No. Nope. Okay. So we're still kind of assembling the team. If I'm reading this mm -hmm. right, we really don't have a team, though. Uh, we do have to go off into Free Cloud. Was that the name of the place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're we're going to Jerry Ryan, according to IMDb, is only going to appear five episodes out. Patrick Stewart. The season's going to be eleven. So yes. We're, we're, so yes, everything else is still going to be two episodes. <clears throat> I'm thinking Free Cloud is where we find Seven, and I'm thinking that it might be a maybe a liberated Borg safe haven. I don't know what it's going to be. We're gonna we're. I mean, we're we're not going to know until we find the next two episodes, which I think are directed by Jonathan Frakes. We really don't know what we're going to. We might end up, for all we know, Free Club might be where Riker and Troy are. We know they're going to show up. No, they are not on Free Club. I, I want to bet if Kate, did you even talk about the the the, the girl talking to the uh, crazy Romulan or the? Uh... We haven't really talked about that very much. Okay. I and mean, we dealt with it just a little bit, but not a whole heck of a lot. Um, because there's one scene that that somewhat confuses me. Yeah. Whenever she, whenever when it, when she ran amok, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guard was taken away, saying he it was his fault, and I'm just trying to figure out why. Was it because he, 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 he was not secure? He brought a weapon in that wasn't secured. Okay, yeah. because that wasn't really emphasized in the scene. Yes, it, it was. was yes, it was. It, it wasn't yeah. emphasized. It was really, really underplayed. But yeah, I realized it was a thrown away <laughs> line. And because of the weird miking, I have to go down here and say hi to her. Hi, Ver. Uh, because of the weird miking, it was really hard to hear what was going on. Uh, there's a couple points there where it was like, either slow down and speak more clearly or get a better mic. Yeah. Why am I running so fast? I have no idea. Why are you running so fast? How? Math? Something, yeah. That's well, one heck somebody, of Oh, no, no. It's something going on in this. Somebody activated a motion accelerator yeah. on us. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> We're all running around on DS9. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I got the stream up in the background. Um, yeah, that's weird. <gasps> And you're on instance two. We're in instance yep. two. Probably gonna be. But full, if you need an but invite really, to join us, let me know. But right. I really like the ending scene where he was like, he was reluctant to sit in the chair and and just looking into space, and then yeah, his engaged came. But I really like when he approached the the captain's seat. Yeah, yeah and he, he just... paused at like uh, yeah. not yet. It's not my seat yet. Yeah, mm. it, and I'm thinking he's going. No, I'm not doing that anymore. Which would be sad, but possible. Let's see. So no, Jonathan Frakes. Uh, sorry, Troy and uh, Riker were on some planet. I don't think they were in Free Cloud. I'm thinking that's like. I'm Actually, thinking it'll wind cloud. up not being a planet, free, but some loose free association. Free Free Cloud apparently is a Romian refuge because there, there was a little preview for next week's and that's where they run into the sword guy from the trailers. Oh. Sword guy? In the trailers, remember there was a Romulan type person or Vulcan who was wielding a sword? No. Well, I remember that. Yeah, Legolas. Legolas, <laughs> okay. Yeah, dark-haired Legolas basically. That's where they're going to run into him because he was in the preview for next week's episode. I'm trying to find out. Uh... <clears throat> nope, doesn't say where it is, but I'm looking at a picture from the episode where they meet up, where Picard and Riker meet up, and it's definitely a planet. Yeah. So I, you know, mm -hmm. I figured you were the Borg Kitty Okamiko. 
Oh goodness, somebody's got their dinosaurs out. Here, let's get out all the dinosaurs if we're going to do this. All right, here we go. Everybody's got their dinosaurs. I am my dinosaur. Well, I'm not there yet. Because Suddenly, the 80s song about oh, doing I'm... a dinosaur pops in my head. Do the dinosaur. <laughs> yep. yep, we'll do that sometime. Oh, great. And the other dinosaur song. Yeah. What's the other dinosaur song? I the intro to Denver, the last dinosaur. Oh my god. <coughs> Every time we get our dinosaurs out on a mission, Pi is going, It's Denver! Denver's out. Denver's dead. Or what oh, have you. My mom has Mine's a named Barney. Painting. Deal with it. <laughs> my mom has a painting of Denver oh, rocking god. his guitar <laughs> that I made as a kid <laughs> and gave her for Mother's Day. Aww. I love it. You want to know? You want to know these? This isn't Denver. This isn't Barney. You want to know what it is? It's a big freaking <coughs> dinosaur of robot parts. It's Grimlock. <laughs> Who became leader of the Autobot? Depending on what continuity you follow. Or is it Blue, perhaps? Blue? Blue? Yeah. Come on, know your Jurassic Park. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, the sorry. original Snorkosaurus. That's Jurassic World, not Jurassic Park, Jurassic. What? The original uh, Snorkosaurus. Yeah, get your dinosaur movie right. <laughs> yeah. Slap. <laughs> Slap. Great, the map's full. Alright, let's. Well, we can invite you. All right, so anything else from this week's episode that we think are, are interesting? I think the Doctor is being controlled by either Starfleet or the Tal Shiar because I think that the Vulcan commander is actually a Romulan in disguise. I think the Romulan... There were some pointers at, at, at a point saying something with your pointy ears. Yeah, I, I'm really not getting so this whole thing on the board cube, though. What I noticed yesterday while watching the show is that every time the board cube comes up, it's it's semi dark evil music. Yeah. It's not like a ta da ta da like a you know a good place, but like an evil place or a plotting space. It's a board cube. It's <laughs> yeah, but think of it. If if it was like a peaceful place, the music would be different. Every time the board cube comes up, it's like black, ominous, very darkish, complotting, evil music. Yeah, I can't get into the DS9. I, I just sent you an. Oh, you sent me an invite. I sent you an invite. Who else needs an invite? To this? Uh, not a. Stick an X in there, so. Invite. But I really hated when she came Same down to the egg. planet with those shades, those sunglasses. That looks so weird. I know you <laughs> talked about it, but that looks yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, s sunglasses—they should be something different in the future. I can make it very weird, but you wouldn't like it. Let's, ma let's, have, right. let's have her eyes just so, blow, but suddenly become mirrored. There you ooh, go. Ooh, that'd be cool. Interactive Question. eyeglasses, yes. Is it true that just by logging in today you get a Picard outfit? What? I, I, no, I think that's been around I, for a little bit. Oh, my wife told me today. She goes, if you log in today, you'll get a Picard outfit. I'm like, really? From Promotional ta promotionals tab of uh, the Picard outfit from the current time, the twenty three ninety nine. Yeah, the one. Um, actually, I'm not wearing it on this tune, but yeah, the, that is out there. It's a goodie. I'm, I might have it on mine. Let me check. What's it called? It's the Picard. Starfleet twenty three ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I got that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sure. don't forget if you haven't logged in to get the uh, what's the new one? Okay. What's the one that we we're having fun with yesterday that I can't remember? The promotional pack. It's not. Is it uh, Alienware? It's uh, Alienware. 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 Yeah. It's Alienware. Alienware has a promotional pack. Freebie. So how do I get it? Go to Alienware. This 
is it on the website? Is it in? Who, I know we had it yesterday uh, someplace. It's on the launcher, to be very honest. Uh, okay. It comes up on the launcher to get. Are you using the Arc launcher, or are you using the regular uh, stone? The regular uh, game, the regular STO game launcher. It's on. Okay. There's a link to get there. I've put it up in the stream chat channel as well. If you just want to log on to that. Angry typing. Anything else we need to talk about in the new episode, guys and ladies? Guys and ladies out there, um. ladies and guys. Uh, like I said, the whole Romulan Borg thing is just kind of mad. The character, the uh, daughter, and the uh, Romulan whatever is still kind of meh. I don't get that. I must admit, there's one thing that annoys me in the Picard show. Yes. The, all the flashbacks to what happened is just... I know it's part of the story, and there's probably a, a higher meaning of all these flashbacks, but it's just... Yesterday, they spent like five minutes, or was it four or five minutes, mm -hmm. just showing the same images as they did in the previous verse, uh, I know. episode. I know, they need to, if you're going to do expository stuff, don't do it the same way every single time. I, it's just, I, don't, I don't like that. It's new and scene. we see it in every show, it's just kind of previously on whatever. Yeah, just do a previously yeah, but, 15 but they years actually ago. Did, they, they did a previous on Picard, and then they showed what happened previously, and then they spent five minutes of telling what actually happened, like... 18 years ago, yeah. Yeah. Just, you just, don't want to... They spent like five know, or you six... Don't, you don't want to know what happened previously to get them here. Well, the, you've it's, got a couple of... Just, you've got a couple of options to talk about what's gone on previously. The one that's the least popular is the tell, don't show... But I think they're overdoing it with the show rather than tell, because they're still leaving things undone. You know, you can just let people go on with their lives, and everybody else has to try and figure it out from them for themselves, which makes it much more fun. You could just tell your story that you're doing now, and we got to figure it out. Can I ask a still related question, of really course. quick? So I'm at the the Dilithium site, yes. and I don't know where the FDMAA agent oh, is. Oh, okay. Um, have you got your suit on? I do. Okay, do you have the option for rich dilithium uh, claim? It's the second one down. Yes, I've okay. already done that. Click on that. It'll take you down to the planet. You're going to go... He's right there on your left. So you're going to move like... Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. confusing because I'm in the... The fleet vulgated. Oh, you're in fleet. There. Okay. The, you can't do um, the rich claims in no, the fleet. You, you can have only to go to the Volcada mine fleet. Yeah, it, it's only at Vlugta, or however you say that one. I'm in Vlugta dilithium mine. Okay, then you've got the you have to option. Talk, you have to talk to the Ferengi in the airlock first, I believe. Well, that's the thing is, I don't know where there's an airlock. Okay, hang on a second. No, it, it will, you, hang on a second. It will pop up on your yeah. screen when you activate your uh, your suit. It will say go to the airlock. I'm going to go there, okay. so if you're watching Twitch, I'll be there in just a sec. I'm very confused. Yeah, hang on. But do you have the VIP claim? Yeah. Okay, so okay. switch on Twitch for just a sec. And I will go over there, because I'm at DS9. I can zip over there pretty quick. I'm going to... Maybe it's because I was in fleet space or something. I'm going to switch you back to sector space. Okay. Well, uh, you need to be down the at the... Uh, the asteroid field itself. So go to the blue to asteroid field. Which I'll okay. Be at in just one moment. Oh, I was in the fleet side. I wasn't. Yeah, no, the, you can't be on the fleet yeah, one. The fleet one. one's a different okay. location. Okay, I figured it out. Thank you okay, very much. You're there. Fine. Just like that. I've left there. I'm going back to deep space nine. So there. Anyway, talk to. Uh, uh, go talk to what's her name? What is her name? What is I, I can't mm, no, 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 maybe I've already got a load. Yeah, here she is. What in the heck is this? I don't know. Music? 
could come around in DS9 to me. I, I want to know what the heck this is. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, I'm on the same DS9 you are. But I don't want to walk away from this thing in case it disappears. So you go talk to Ishel. You hand over a yeah. rich claim. When you do that, Wait, you'll what, get the option to uh, go to the uh, turn and claiming thing. It'll be the old three exit Great. airlock, return Work. to ship, and the rich mining claim. Mm -hmm. And then if you click on that, it will take you down to uh -huh. the asteroid. The Move to your left, <laughs> and you'll see the guy. I know, right? <laughs> I see Moogie. Hi, Moogie. A dead Did does that make sense, Frost? Yeah, I, okay. like I said, I figured it out. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Let me check back over here. No, no, I can cling on to top. So how long is it going to be until we start meeting Blondo Moo? I know that's her, huh? The hell is this thing? Uh, Mom, we have a situation on DS9. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way back. This little monkey pet if thing. I don't mm -hmm. do things, nobody does. Yada, 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 yada. Give me a second. Where did you get that? What have you got? We don't know. Okay, okay. And we no, can't feel like yours. No, it's okay. not. <laughs> Wait, what? Where did I, this little gremlin come from? I beamed into DS9, I came out of that little hallway, and this little dude was just standing here, and I don't know what the heck this thing. <laughs> I'll be right there, I'll tell you what it is, maybe. Uh, maybe I won't know. Bro! <laughs> Where are you guys? Um, DS9... Uh, this is two now by the transporter. By the, the transporter. Hell is okay. this little creep? <laughs> I wish there was so a faster weird. way to get to DS9, but you have to go here, there, everywhere. Oh, I see what you're talking about back there. <laughs> the hell? I have never it's seen somebody, anything it's like this. It's somebody's bizarro pet. I... But pet? Where? Whose pet? It. Unless it's from Marcus's it's... pit. No! <laughs> it's just standing here statically. There's nobody around for it. And there's no way to select it or see oh, what it like is. A, or... It's like a whore game. That little thing that, there? But... Yeah. Yeah. It, it belongs to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this thing? <laughs> it's creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What the hell is this thing, Scan? Scan? <laughs> nope. It's it's here to scare you. That's what it is. <laughs> it's here to make it, you freak out, and apparently, it's doing its job rather well. Of STO, I have <laughs> never seen this. I know, thing. right? <laughs> the heck is it? <laughs> <laughs> I have been here for years. I have never seen I got photo evidence. I'm guessing mom doesn't have a clue what it is either. I have no idea. I was just <laughs> asking uh, Araj if that was a pet. But I haven't got a response. It is it, a tardigrade it, companion. No, no, not the tardigrade no. companion. The, 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 thing the, the, the tardigrade. The, the thing. The thing in front of the tardigrade. You know what it looks like? It looks like a nibbler, but with pointy ears. You, you know what? It, I think it, for me, yeah. it looks like the, uh, the 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 Krampus from uh, Winter Wonderland. Really? Might be a little Krampus doll. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Krampus, like Krampus. Funko doll. Funko Pop doll. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like, yes. It's got a little <laughs> basket on, on its back. I can see its back. <sighs> the heck is it? <laughs> what the hell is it? It's scaring me, man. You we'll to see the Star bank, Trek there's Online a giant tardigrade sitting there. New places and ask. Yeah. WTF. <laughs> I have
have no idea. It does have a basket on its back, doesn't it? And you can't select the thing to find out what it is. It is a cramp. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I'm just. I'm yeah, it's it's got to be a pet. It's it, it's a ground non camp it's a cramp hairy pet. There's wow. actually wow. It's twenty five. It's twenty. It's twenty five sleigh bells and twenty five gratitude beads. Apparently, it is here just to freak you out. It's doing its job, then. Very it's clearly. doing its job. Um, where's the account? Thing? Oh, but I don't remember who to? I have my winner items on. It's a static doll, so whoever dropped it, they're still on the map oh, somewhere. Oh, okay. It's kind of like the horror game, where you drop it, it stays there at least. Until... Wait, it's the Crampiri pet? Yeah. Or the Tortured Elf pet. No, that's not Tortured Elf. A, Tortured Elf's are skinnier. I'm pretty sure it's a Cramperi. <laughs> Tortured Elves oh. look a lot more like something from Harry Potter. Well, I think we've uh, abused the Picard topic for the evening, unless anybody else has something to talk about. So the theory is that next week we pick up Seven of Nine. Is that what we think is going to happen? No. Oh. When do we... We're going to pick. It. We're going to pick seven and nines appearing in five of the episodes. Well, we so. got three done. There's only ten, ten or eleven. Eleven. Okay, eleven. So, so, so I think we're going to be in the back half. Right. We're going to have to meet her. Sure, she'll point. be in the back half. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'd put her in the first half because, dang, if that was fun with the guns. Yeah. Speaking of which, I got to do that mission to get those guns. Yeah, I still got to do that, too. I have to go back and redo it now that I got that one gun. Do anyone have a theory of when Guinan and why Guinan is coming back? Why season she's coming two. Back? It's season two, and she's coming back because she got invited. Because Patrick yeah. likes her and invited her back. Yes. Personally. Oh, that. It was just her, her, her meaning in this show. Like, because she is a bartender, right? Yep. Yes, but her people were also wiped out by the Borg. So, so there might be a tie-in there. Borg heavy. Yeah, there might be some kind of tie-in. Of course, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. If they put the Borg into everything for this, I'm going to quickly lose interest. Depends on what they do with it. I mean, it's, they could make it fun. They could make it interesting. The Borg could be Borg without being Borg, if that makes sense. I mean, it could be a yeah. subplot as opposed to, oh, we're going to fight the Borg again. <laughs> Maybe it's a Borg but if, component. But if, you, but, if you start put, but if you start putting the Borg into, okay, they resurrected Data, oh, they, they're behind this, oh, they're behind that, then it's sort of like, no. Yeah, we'll see. So far, they've not yielded to the temptation to go blatantly fan service, which has been nice. And the other yeah. point, is, and the other point is, I don't. The other reason why I don't think the board are going to be behind everything. Patrick didn't even want to do another Borg thing. Like what, I said, from what saying in interviews. So I don't. So I think if the board were behind everything, you wouldn't have gotten to do it. Well, I think the Tal Shiar is a good take on it because we didn't deal a lot yeah. with the Tal Shiar in TNG. A little bit, but not a lot. We dealt more with it in Stowe. Maybe they're going to draw on Stowe. Maybe that'll be a Stowe series. Can you imagine that? Okay. I'm the only ten one. years before Stowe. It's I Stowe want, ten years before it's Stowe. I want Stowe the series. Well, you know what? We got enough people here. Somebody start writing dialogue. We can record it. We can... Gee, guess what I do for fun on the sides? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, you do demo record stuff. I do demo records and I write fanfic. So what the hell? So, so yeah, we demo record some of the actions and we start recording dialogue to it. I will gratefully accept your friend invitation there. Thank you so much. Yeah, that would no be problem. a blast. And we can do all the demo record voiceover work when we're in Vegas. Everybody has to come to Vegas and we will spend one day... Recording their dialogue. Our minds doing that. Actually, we could do it all on Discord too. Hmm. Yeah, we could. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Have you ever heard that fanfic uh, of Picard's funeral? Which one? Uh, <laughs> Which I think, first one? of all, but it's been done by it's been done very well by quite a few people. 
Yeah, I same saw same. a very well uh, readout of the fanfic on somebody's YouTube channel. Oh, I haven't seen that. Um, I will, if you find it, let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'm not going to say this is bragging because it really isn't, but nobody's going to read out my fanfic because one of them is slightly over a thousand pages and the other one is just shorter than that. <coughs> They're not short. <laughs> I'm always impressed when people can do it with minimal going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And on and on and on and on, yeah. Mana, mana. Brevity may be the soul of it. I'm obviously witless. Mana, mana. Mana, mana. Speaking of mana, mana. Did you see, um, did you see Animal's uh, cover version of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody? Animals? No. You know, Animal, the drummer from. Um... Oh, I don't think I have. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mama! Okay, I'll throw it into the videos. Oh, I see thing, it. I right? got it here. Is this the real life? Um, Is this just fantasy? I'll throw it in. Oh, Mama? <laughs> yeah. Mama. Uh, the episode is called Stargazers, a Star Trek The Next Generation fanfic. Oh! I okay. really love it. I will go look at that. It is sad, but yeah. The joy of fanfic is we can have as much fun, kill people off, and we can bring them back in the next episode. No, there's no bringing that person back in the next episode. The author can bring him back in a different book. That's what I mean. I can kill somebody off and bring him back in the next book. It's it's awesome. That's why fanfic's so much fun. Actually, that's why fiction's so much fun. If I was smart, I'd mean, it, publish some It's about stuff. this impactful... Yeah. How's everyone doing? Good. How are you? Uh, do, uh, well, I would be doing a little better. Does anybody know what happened to the game launcher and Discord? The game launcher in Discord? Yeah. What game launcher in Discord? Be, there used to be a game launcher thing when you were in your general tab in Discord. It's gone. Oh. I have no clue. I I, I didn't even know it was there. Wow. Yeah, yeah, well I used I used to go that route because it kinda helped me monitor it kinda gave me a little overlay where I could see who was speaking and who's online, and that's why I always use the game launcher in Discord, but it's gone now. Wow. I, I've i never used that, and I still get the little overlay up in the top left corner. I may have to try it then. Huh. You learn something new every day. Because uh, when I stream Warframe and I'm talking on Discord, like I don't do anything special to set it up so that... I can see it. It just does its thing, and I don't complain about it. <laughs> well, let me see if it'll do its thing then. Okay. Okay, because I'm launching the um, game right now. Oh, we no, must have I, a patch. I've not yeah, seen a patch it this morning in STO. Uh, were you on yesterday, Jason? No. I was. In oh. fact, me and Frost had a very, very long uh, political debate. It was actually quite interesting. Well, there was a problem where um, if you beam down to the Dyson Sphere, you weren't getting out. Hence, there was yeah. a patch this morning. Uh, yeah, uh, DT said something yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, he had stuck Jason down there. <laughs> and Jason was going to stay there. Folks, I'm going to go eat some dinner in a few minutes, so does anybody <gasps> want to do a last mission for the night? Um, sure. well, what, you're kind of leaving mission? me already? No, I'm leaving you in charge. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> you sure you want to leave me in charge? Sure, why not? You've, we can trust you. Okay. Yeah, um, we started this one about 6 o'clock, so we've already done a bit of... We did almost an hour with my mic being off, which was really interesting. Yeah. I didn't realize my mic well, was off. Well, I had, I had gotten me a new game. Ooh. It was just kind of a, a little cheap... Um, How dare you? You're not, yes. not faithful. It was just a little cheap puzzle game called Agent A. Okay. And I played through it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it was just... It was just... It was just a typical puzzle game. 
I love puzzle games. And that's what I've been playing all cool. day. I went all the way through it in four hours. Hmm. Well, you guys are giving me some inspiration to go back and actually write some original fiction and get it published and make myself independently wealthy on that stuff. Ha! Hmm. Could we do like a murder mystery? For for our original series, that would be that would be an interesting episode. We were just talking about the fact that some of us like to write fan fiction, and we all do stow in it with demo record. We could write an well, original thing and demo record it. And that is the wonderful thing about science fiction in general. Oh yeah, you can do any kind of book you want no and kidding. just put sci-fi tropes in it, and you're good. Yeah, my problem yeah. is I try to write. It with semi-accurate to accurate science, which, I mean, I'm not yeah. Peter Hamilton who really does hard sci-fi, but really you're not good. Peter Hamilton. I wish Dang I was Peter Hamilton. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, love I had Peter started. Hamilton. I had started a long time ago. I had started a uh, my own little sci sci-fi series, but I got maybe the first chapter. And I found that writing was a little bit more, I think the best way to describe it was a little bit more commitment than I had planned on. I used to dedicate my Saturday nights to sitting here in this office, which then became my son's room, then became my office again. You know what? I need to start doing that. And I would write I from... I need to get on YouTube is what I need to do. I would I write from 10 till 2 and then I do this instead. Hmm. All right, let's do something before I have to leave. And go eat okay. Food. All right. Well, uh, I need to do something t to go towards my ship. Okay. So, what do you want to do? Why don't you pick it and pick a team, and we'll go from there. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, can, we do, do, can we do? Can we do the to hell with honor TFO? We can do to hell. Do you want to go Fed or KDF? Uh, dealer's choice. Okay. I'm gonna break up this. Or I'm gonna leave this team so we can start from scratch here. Okay. So if you were in my team, go ahead and leave the team so I can invite you. And to hell with honor, KD, uh, sorry, did you say KDF or Fed? I said dealer's choice. Oh, dealer's choice. Let's go Fed because I'm already there. Okay, good, because I'm already on Fed. Okay, got one <laughs> player for you. Stick your X in there, Jason, so I can invite you. Okay. <coughs> okay. I'm uh, Mr. Jack Fisk. Sick fixer we got your today. invitation. we got two room for two more. Two more. All right. To hell with yeah, I need to get Fred. back to working on my writing personally. Yeah. I'm oh, so writing. you're writing something too? And Frost um, has written a book, and I hope that everybody would, buys that Frost's is something. Book. That is probably what I need is a a group to write in. Like a writing group, like uh, yeah. yeah, get together one evening. Yeah, and... kind of help keep it, us all accountable with each other. That would yeah, be okay. awesome. What, do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. That sounds great. That means I gotta dig out my notes for the guy at Protocol. I have to find my old Dagnabbit books. Um, da that was what I was going to call the series, Dagnabbit. And it's going to be a, it was about a spaceship called the Dagnabbit. <laughs> okay, we got Pi. Got room for one more. I'd love to be involved, but I'm, I'm kind of trying to complete my endeavors. Um, no problem. I, I obviously haven't finished my endeavors. I'll have to come back for it. But I can smell yeah, the Spanakopita. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just now logged on, so I got all of my endeavors to go. But I am wanting to get this. I'm wanting to get this. Oh my gosh, there's another first. One more. Got room for one more. Oh. And we got. Who put down the second right. one? All right, there's we got a team here. Krampus things. There's another one. Gosh darn it! I'll <laughs> leave. I'll leave, mom. No, no, we're we're good. We're good. We're good. We got a team here. Somebody put down another Krampus. Oh, uh, okay. No, I, you're, you're yeah, just we're talking about the Krampus uh, thingies here. No? I actually think I have a Krampus in my oh, on one of my gosh. tombs as well. All right, I'm going to queue but us when up the, for... When, but when the winter event doesn't run, he just stands still. Okay, that's interesting. So when the winter event is running, he moves around and stuff? Yes, he follows you. Wow. <gasps> now I want one. I'm queuing us, and it's on, just on regular. We move. We move. Okay, we move. We will. All right, we have gotten uh, what's her name twice, three times in this last one. Let's see if we can get the Lucar three times, more than three times. Is that possible? Um, I don't think it's. There's not enough waypoints for her to run to to do more than three times. I don't think. Uh, beans. Okay. And I can't help 
pummeling her this round because this character. It's a, pl just, it's just a matter of her. honor to drive her off. What are you looking for? Do you have no oh. honor? How about this one? That one yeah. Fifi's been bringing the pot holders up. Because huh. <laughs> she's an evil baby. I don't have to post I a picture. I am not of evil. Yeah, she's just cute. Here we go. I eventually want to build a specific build for each tune Hi, for the Maxwell's. Rising Corvette. <laughs> Well, we'll have to get together with the uh, story writing thing, but I'll also, in my infinite spare time. You no, know, I think I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and dig up because I've I've got it. I've already got it. Well, started maybe I should say. I'll just see if I can pull that up and get that posted. I actually got an entire book written, but I decided it was a little too teenagery. It wasn't really more mature topics. So publish it as young adult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's done. Some of the best books out there are young adult. Yeah, and some yeah. of the worst ones, too. <laughs> Honestly, um, well, I mean... as far as reading and guilty pleasures go, <coughs> The House of Night, I I can't get enough of that series for whatever reason. I don't know that one. Oh, good okay, grief. Um, they did a really good fresh take on the whole vampire thing. Oh. Um, like, it's not one of those things where some vampire Wait, turns we you get them all? Get them all. It's a, you either are gonna become one, or you aren't. <laughs> so. Oh, oops. But I'm like four books behind at the moment. Let's see, well, the... I have to make adjustments to my options in the middle of the game. The Eclipse Saga, if I remember right, was teenagery, right? And then somebody yeah, decided to do their version of it, and that turned into, uh... Oh God, I'm going Shades Gamma. Gray, which is fanfic of Eclipse. I go Gamma. Okay, okay I'm, I'm gonna go Delta since so I beat the crap out of the car here. Okay, she has been... She's up. been driven off. She has been driven off. Shout if you see her again. Okay, Epsilon, that would be... The B, the E. The E. Oh, there it is. Not E like the M uh, Enterprise E, but E like an, an E. Okay, yeah, it was behind me, so I couldn't see it. Yeah. Oh, good, I wow, into this vehicle. Ooh. Okay, I freaking hate Tholians. Okay. <laughs> Any particular reason or just in general purposes? I'm supposed to do physical damage. Yeah. And I've got to kill 10 Tholians at the same time. I figured it's a good thing yeah, to do. should work. And they're running away from me. <laughs> well, they're smart then. What are you using for physical damage? Uh, Batless. Oh, that'll do it. Personally, I like the submachine gun. I find it's very yeah, effective. Yeah, I was going to say... Tom I, I need to do physical damage, though. So. Yeah, no, submachine... Er, the machine gun counts as physical damage. Ow! I, I don't have the machine gun. Oh, well, then <gasps> you can't use it, can you? No, I if can't. You if you get the chance to pick it up, if they ever do a reclaim on that one, that is one of uh, my favorite weapons. Um, it's in the Picard pack. It's in the Picard but, pack. There you go. But you can only get it for one character. Oh, you can't do the same trick? Yeah. Well, because it's not an event thing, it's uh, it's a single character unlock from the oh, card well, pack. That, that sucks. That was one of my favorite weapons. I know. And the thing is, if you claimed it, gave it to one of your bridge officers, you could reclaim it for yourself, and two of you could have it. Which scared her off again. Hello. Hello. Has she popped up again? Yeah. I hear her. Alpha. Alpha. 
Yes. There she is. Ah, uh, oh, yep, yeah, there spike. she is. And a beautiful leg spike. Oh, that's a little leg. Oh, we lost her. Bright light. Bye, WC. Have a nice lunch. It'll be nice when they've got an advanced version of this. An advanced version of this? Yeah, this is yes. just regular. They don't have an advanced one yet. Oh my. Oh, wait, you'll be. They said they want to crunch the data before they do an advanced one. I'm sure they do. Figure out yeah. where they can advance it without just throwing more stuff at you. But I ideally, to... I think I, I think they need to cool down the way so we can get to the bases before the ships uh, fly away because you get hit constantly by the turrets. Yeah. Well, the idea is that you have somebody running turret interference yeah. along the paths while somebody flies overhead. Like I found that. Like, I fly like straight up and then over to my objective, and you can avoid most of the turret stuff. Yeah, I noticed that this time when did we get suggested. It does help. But I like the fact that we get to play with the walkers. She's over at Delta. Bright light. Yes, yes, it was. I say bright light before it goes off. <laughs> well, maybe that was Not somebody else's as light. it goes off. <laughs> I usually Destroy. announce it before I'm even like hitting the button. Gamma <laughs> reactor, okay. Yep. Your chicken. What the friggin' hell? What now? I I can't I can't like do anything that I'm supposed to be doing with this character. What are you supposed to be doing with that character? I'm doing downfall because I couldn't do anything else. It was forcing me to do it. And it wouldn't let me use like yeah, full exactly. impulse or anything. Oh, yeah. It won't let you use full, impu uh, full impulse while you're in the red alert. Maybe we should use Frost as a kind of a tutorial or something like beef up Frost. Yes, I like that. Huh? We need. What are you talking about? Use you so we can boost up all your equipment and stuff and show other people how to do it. Oh. Not like in how you're doing it wrong, but this is how you can take your guy and make it better. I've done that on a couple of mine. BT did it with uh, Caden and a few others. That Not reminds Kaden, me. Uh, Marcus, was it you who was interested in learning how to make a good, um... Tour of the Galaxy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that would yes. be a great video. People yeah, well, I'm, I, as soon as we're done with this, if you'll get on my stream, and I will show you how. Okay, this is pissing me off. 
I well, can't. The problem is I don't have a good memory, so I would have to watch well, it over and over and over again. Well, I tell you, what, I'm I'm just going to go ahead and make the instructions, and the video will be on the on my Twitch. In fact, I may go ahead and just record it and post it. I was going to say, but yeah, I'll go ahead and do that since we're done here. Um, because I'm aiming to do something that I can do. Basically, the gear's got to be either reputation or fleet. So nothing that's particularly okay. hard to get a hold of. Well, do you have a do you have a miracle worker ship? I have all I have the three pack miracle worker. Okay, ship, okay, so. good, 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 because those work good. What the hell is God damn it! I can't do anything. How did we do? All right. Well, thank you for indulging me. Absolutely. Huzzah. Huzzah. All right. All right, let me get my miracle worker. I'm going to log off here, folks. It has been a great evening. I'm going to go eat some dinner because it's super Oh, late. my God. And maybe I'll jump over and help Frost. <clears throat> All right, everyone, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We will be on tomorrow late afternoon, I think. Depends on when I get done making dinner. And I'll remember All to right. turn on the microphone. Okay. Okay. So she says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Isn't that whatever. always the way it goes? Well, thank God, Mason and a couple others went. Mom. 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 What? Everyone, have a great evening. We will talk to you tomorrow. You guys are supposed to say, "All right, good night, mom." Okay. Good night, mom. All right. Good night, mom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Stupid.